the next day. Well, good Saturday morning, everybody. This is Dave with Cruising to Lose Weight. And uh, we're on our way back to Galveston. Today's going to be a sea day. And uh, tomorrow's going to be the end of my cruising for the past five weeks. Wow. Since April 22nd, tomorrow's going to be the 28th of May. So, yeah, we've uh, we've been on the sea for over a month. And uh, we've had some fun. Uh, enjoyed the, all the... Uh, all the things that we uh, experienced on the way, uh, different people we've met, and uh, yeah, it's uh, turned out pretty good. But yeah, uh, tomorrow's going to be uh, a debarkation day. Today's, uh, I've already got my uh, luggage tags delivered, and uh, we'll we'll pack a suitcase up tonight and set it outside here. And uh, em our debarkation process has been pr going pretty smoothly, f I th for the most part, what I'm used to, <clears throat> being on Carnival, but uh, being on uh, Royal Caribbean, they've, I think they've got it all figured out. But, um, yeah, tomorrow, uh, then we go back to being a nomad. Uh, and uh, if you're interested in following me after cruising here, um, my uh, other channel is the uh, Texan Nomad Life, and which, which uh, kind of follows me through uh, house sitting and pet sitting uh, in different areas of uh, Texas. And uh, coming months, it'll be uh, going over to Florida for the winter months. So it should be a real fun, exciting time. So uh, make sure you subscribe and, and check me out there. And I, I may be a little, doing a little bit of the uh, watching your weight type of deal on there also. So doing some home cooking. Not going to be used to that. But yeah, uh, anyways, we're, uh, we're going to be uh, finishing up. It's a little bit after 8 o'clock right now. And um, we'll be finishing up our uh, current fast at 9 o'clock. And I think we're going to go up to the uh, Solarium Bistro again. I really like that uh, little uh, breakfast area. It doesn't seem too crowded. We'll see what it looks like today being a sea day, but I don't think it's gonna be too bad. But it's open till one. But I'd like to um, check out the lunch, the MDR lunch. I've uh, been at the dinner, I've been at MDR breakfast, so, but I haven't been to the MDR dinner yet. And I think that runs, um, 10 o'clock till 1 or something like that so but anyways we'll check that out and uh, we don't have a, a fast scheduled for tomorrow uh, so probably I'll do my usual getting off the ship and stopping at uh, McDonald's for uh, some breakfast burritos but maybe we'll trim it back a little bit instead of getting three I think we may just get two um, got my uh, new location for my next house set tomorrow it's going to be in elgin which is just east of austin and i've already placed my order for uh, food pickup at the grocery store at heb and uh, also i have some additional uh, groceries delivered from walmart uh, tomorrow afternoon so we're going to be going back to nomad life, so follow me along there. Anyways, let's go over statistics uh, for yesterday. Yesterday's the 34th uh, 34th uh, cruise day. Um, so here's the uh, statistics for that. <coughs> Blood pressure was uh, 120 over 76 with a pulse of 77. Our uh, blood glucose 
Her blood sugar reading uh, continues to improve. Um, like I mentioned yesterday and days in the past, we're making a conscious effort to eliminate carbs as much as we can. Um, you know, there's a few that you need, but not overdoing it. And it seems to be working pretty good on the the reading here. The reading this morning was 185, and that puts her A1C down to 9.81. I think the the graph that I saw something like that where the 185 once the A1C settles down should be equivalent to like a seven and a half or eight, which is great. Um, so we'll keep on shooting for that. Got a lot of steps in yesterday. We had uh, 6,804 steps. Uh, did some bonus uh, gift giving, walking the hallways. So uh, we got a few more gifts and a duck to deliver. You can see them there next to the hats. And uh, sleep last night. We got eight hours and 11 minutes of sleep. And the uh, Sleep app gave us a rating of 97, so that's pretty good. Uh, way in this morning, um, you can see the, the ship is, was rocking. It's not too bad right now, but it was rocking pretty good before. Um, let me just check that. Well, it's, it's still moving, but it's not too bad. Uh, so I didn't know if I was going to get an accurate reading, and this may be, I don't know. We'll see <laughs> once we get down into land on the next day that but we'll see what the reading is but this morning it, it uh, locked in at 292.5 292.5 that's a gain of two pounds so that puts our cruising weight at plus 0.1 pounds eh. we'll see what the final reading is on weigh in morning uh, I think I'll probably be hanging on to my carry-on bag so I'll I'll have a weigh-in tomorrow morning uh, with the scale that I got. <coughs> I just picked up a little bit of a cough. Hope it's nothing serious. But yeah, uh, it's going to be uh, sad. It's going to be a while before we cruise again. I think. I think my next uh, set of cruises are isn't set till September. So that's almost four four months down the line, and that's out of Florida, out of Miami, since I'll be uh, house sitting in Florida. I'm trying to line up house sits uh, while I'm down there. So, but anyways, uh, we've got at least one more day here, uh, and one more uh, vlog uh, entry tomorrow morning to see how we're doing. But in the meantime. Um, appreciate you guys subscribing and following us and, uh, and appreciate the comments and until tomorrow morning on Debarkation Day in Galveston, we'll catch you next time. Adios.